You know what question is just so commonly asked that I figured I had to make a video on it? Can a 99 speed player run from home to dead center at polo grounds faster than a zero speed player can run the bases? This is the weirdest video. This is honestly the weirdest video, but like it anyways because I love you guys and I love making MLB videos. So yeah, I'll show you how to do it in a second. Okay, so this is your first video. Let me show you how I actually get the times because I'm going to be doing all the times on my phone. Uh, they will have, there will be like an official time on the computer, but I'm not going to do the thing where I like go through it all and then like redo it on the computer and stuff. I'm just going to be timing on my phone and I will just make sure to try and start. I'll stop at the top and start. So one, I have to have one controller control each. So this one is Red Sox. This one is Blue Jays. I am going to back out. So I have to pitch with the Blue Jays. Oh, this is the pain because when it's meter, it makes it really, really difficult. Okay, now stop. Okay, now we have the 99 speed player right here. So now I got to switch hands here, go back and forth and with him. Well, so like I, I don't have enough hands for this. I do. This is like the craziest video ever. Okay, go back. Okay, now I'm gonna. Be, I'm almost ready to start. Go here, and this is just. It's tough because I'm trying to find the time to start the. Start the clock right now. Go, 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 go. Okay, so we have the clock going, and he is off to the races, my friend. Look at him. That's like nine seconds, but it's a long ways. Oh my god, is it ever a long ways? That's 13 seconds, 14. 15, 16, BAM! 18 seconds it took him to get from dead center at Polo Grounds all the way home. So that's kind of like a test one. We well, yeah, actually it's saying 19 seconds. So I'm gonna go 19 seconds. It was like 18 point something. Now we actually have to make it so he just runs the bases. So pretty simple. We just oh my gosh, can't wait. Last time I could not stop missing. Okay, so now we're gonna make sure to guess pitch and then start the clock as soon as it hits the I'm turning up. I gotta turn up sliders. I gotta turn up sliders here. This is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. I'm just trying to get the ball in play, and I've tried this like six oh, man, times with this dude to get the ball in play, and he just literally Line can't do it. I don't one. know why, but they just cannot do it. Bam. There we go. Okay, now start the timer and get him moving. Get him moving around the bases. Okay. Look at the time. It's actually gonna be really, really close. That's seven. That's eight seconds right now. He has to be the time of night. Let's get hype, you guys. Get hype, who's gonna win? Are you on Team Zero or the other one? Ready, and stop. 17.79 seconds. Well, that's incredible. That that was absolutely, I'm a little bit surprised by that. I'm, I, I would have, if I had to at the beginning guess which side, I probably would have been on the team of the 99 speed guy running from center field. That's probably the team that I would have been on. But we gotta do this one more time because I don't trust just one run of things. I gotta make sure that I do this one more time with both these guys. So this time I'm actually gonna get the no stats guy to go first. So he has 17.79, that's an old time. That does not matter anymore. This is the only time that matters. It's the one that he gets right about now. So there we go, that's a nice hit, move. Okay, now I, all I gotta do with this guy is move this around. Move this around, I gotta go L2, everybody. Okay, keep going, eight. Look at this, just constant switch. What's his time gonna be? What's his time gonna be, 15, 16, disappear, boom. 18.11 seconds on that run for the zero overall player. So now, literally just gotta do the exact same thing, but this time, we're gonna be running it a little bit different, and you guys will see, cause you already saw it, bam! So you hit the outfield, you purposely miss it. Okay, Lelo, now we go try and grab it. Now we go try and grab it. So we gotta keep, the thing is, I gotta keep him moving back and forth. But I have to try and do that, and then also hit the timer, which is what makes this seem so incredibly impossible. Okay, there, I just have to reset the timer from the time before. So go back, it's gotta be a time of 18, 0.11 seconds. I'm gonna click it right here and then ah oh, wait 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 which controller do I need? I need this controller. Okay, so I need to click this Set this down and start the clock right there and he's off. He is off to the races gotta be the time of 18.11 seconds. Maybe I took a bad route last time. I have no idea if he's gonna be able to do this This is the weirdest thing I've ever done, but I am proud of it. Oh, he got held up. He got out 15 16 What do we got here? 18.65 seconds. That was incredibly close. That was incredible. So you know what we gotta do? One more. Just one more. I, I promise this will be the last one. I promise 
This will be the last one, but I we gotta see it because that was too close to call. That was too close to call. So this time the speed guy is going to go first. Now I actually have to manage two guys running the bases, which is the absolute worst. It's not a lot of fun. It's really not a lot of fun when you have two guys doing this. Okay, so you just gotta go back and forth, back and forth, click it once, right there, boom. No, no, I didn't reset it. Ah, go back, go back, go back, go back. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, reset. Now go back. And now uh, start the timer. Boom. He's off. And I'm getting better at this. When I first did this challenge from just like the center field thing, it was like super ugly. And this one was just kind of ugly. Like I kind of got this figured out a little bit. What do we got? Okay, don't hit him. Oh, he ran into him a little bit. I'm going to click back. And boom. Start. Dang it. I missed the start button again. This is the worst. This is the worst thing ever. Okay, stop. This is why I do it manually because it's actually kind of it's some entertainment for me. Okay, start right there. Boom. Start right there. This is the last time of the video. I know you're disappointed. I know you're sad, but I'm going to take go a little bit left here of the second baseman just because I don't want to run into anybody. That's the main reason. There we go. Oh, my God. I got warped. I got warped. There we go. And what do we got? 18 .6 zero and seconds it's second time for the no stats player to do his last one if no stats gets this they win all three of them which means he's obviously the greatest of all time if no stats gets this one okay so now you gotta just keep on running keep on running them around i didn't even start the clock that was pathetic i literally didn't start the clock okay clock is now reset now i just click this click this and as soon as i that ball comes in i click the button and here he goes he's going around the bases you guys he is going, he's got six seconds right now, seven seconds. We'll have official times on the screen, obviously. You'll just, this is just kind of what I see right now. And this is going to be the way that I test this. And boom! 18.50 seconds. The no stats player can do it faster. This was the most random video I've ever done in my life. I don't know why I thought of this. I don't know why I did this, but I'm glad that I did. God bless you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you got some enjoyment out of this. It was just a really weird idea. It just came to me. I was like, you know what? No one's ever done that before. Let's go ahead and do it. So that's exactly what we did. God bless you guys. Have an absolutely awesome day, and I will see you guys next time.